can I help you? I have Alfred the cat here. I heard a horrible crushing and heard him screaming in pain and went down, and he was hopping around downstairs with his foot up in the air. I knew his leg was broken. As soon as I saw it, it swelled up really bad very quickly. It's OK. It was very upsetting. It was very upsetting for my daughter also. Come on in. OK. All right, buddy. So we put a new front door in, and Alfred jumped on a door frame, yep. and the whole thing crashed down. I heard him screaming in pain, so I immediately mm -hmm. run downstairs. And there's sharp corners on the frame, and yeah. that corner is what went into his paw and what did the most damage. And honestly, as heavy as that frame is, it would have broken an adult male's foot. Let's take him out, and we'll just um, give him his exam. Come on, it's OK. Here you go, oh, my body. That's come a good on. boy, Alfred. Yeah, come on. Our vet in Summit County put a cast on and gave him, you know, pain medication and stuff. But we are looking at a $4,000 bill up there. With two kids and a mortgage, we just can't afford a $4,000 bill. One of the doctors up there told us that this was not repairable and the best course of action would be amputation. There's no swelling or tenderness higher up the leg. Which is good. We can get him knocked out, um, x-rays, and go from there. OK, perfect. We don't want him to have a leg amputation at all, and it really scares me to think of him having to get used to having three legs, especially because he's 12 and he's not a younger cat anymore. What we've got is three breaks in three different bones. Fortunately, most of the fragments are pretty big. But there's a lot of damage in a small area. I've seen the x-rays. OK. I think we have a really good shot at saving okay. that foot and Perfect. kind of getting him back to normal mobility. Nice. Excellent. So, okay. Thank you so much. That's a huge stress relief. Then the last thing that we talk about is just the financial stuff. So um, five to seven. 100, um, okay. including everything. And it's much appreciated. Oh, good, so. good, super, good. <laughs> Thank you so much, doctor. He really laid a lot of fears to rest, and they're going to be able to repair his hand without doing the amputation. And I'm very, very happy about that. The family will be very happy also. Alfred's prepped to have his leg fixed before the surgical equipment is moved to the new clinic. So Alfred has broken three of the four bones in his left foot. These two bones have a single break, so we should be able to drill a pin through them. This bone in the middle is broken in multiple places. So by putting a pin through the first two bones, the splint effect will keep this bone aligned without actually having to put a pin through it. I've done some of these surgeries before, but never as lead surgeon. I'll have Dr. Bayer glove in with me just to help with some of the positioning stuff. Which side do you want to be on? Um, I don't know. I'll probably move all around. OK. Actually. Doing something that's not routine, you definitely feel pressure. So first thing we do uh, is just make an incision, get some exposure so we can see the bones. Starting the surgery is a little bit nerve wracking. Oh my gosh, that is really small. Blair, can you grab the smallest pins? Cat bones, especially of the lower leg, are really fragile. If I apply too much pressure drilling these pins, the bones could shatter. Even with our smallest size pins, we're kind of right on the edge of what is too big. So we have to be very accurate with our placement. Like that. It feels like it's aligned. Go in just a little bit further. Yeah, but I think we're close. There we go. That'll do it. Uh, one down, one to go. Last pin. <laughs> just gave all of a sudden. There's a fragment missing on the bone that we're drilling into, leaving a jagged edge. Every time we drill the pin, we hit that edge and bounce off.
we need to get the two pieces of bone perfectly aligned and drill through the dead center of that second piece. Let me just grab a hold of it first. This is a little bit tricky because I have to line up the bones by feel. I'm good now. Okay. Forward just a little bit. No, no, we hit the same spot. Yeah. I'll give her another shot. I think I'm straight. Yeah. Don't put so much tension on it because I'm going to like bend it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Can you see the tip of the pen? That should be good. It's even. How's it feel? A lot more stable than it was before. Okay. We're going to go to x ray to make sure that the pins are where they should be and that everything has lined up the way you want it. This is a great experience for Don. You know, you want to give them as much rope as they can where they don't quite hang themselves, but, you know, they, they got to figure it out. Oh, man. This is really good. We have a decent alignment. It looks pretty good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. The x-rays look great. Don did a really good job. Not so bad, Jeff. Hey. Without fixing these fractures, Alfred would have been potentially lame on that leg for life. But once that's healed up over the next month or so, he's going to be back to normal, jumping, climbing. I think Alfred's going to do really well. It's an absolute blizzard up where we live, and an hour and a half drive took me about four hours to get here. But it was worth it, because it's my boy. So he did Hi, super. Hi, pretty boy. Hi. We miss you. If the splint gets wet or starts to slip, anything like that, come on back in sooner rather than later. Bones take anywhere from six to 10 weeks to heal up. So we're going to check them every two weeks just to make sure everything stays right on track. And then once the bones have healed together, we'll pull the pins. Um, and life, life is normal after that. Excellent. Cool. All right. He'll be back out to hunting mice and prairie dogs in no time. Yeah. All okay, right. perfect. All right, doctor. No problem. You guys are awesome down here. You really are. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. With a little bit of rest and TLC, I think Alfred will be back and running in no time. Mm -hmm.